Hi there. Major developments concerning this Silmar home where the backyard's been turned into an RV park. Well, today, a judge ordering the homeowner and all the tenants vacate by Sunday. Good thing these barrels will be removed, but. You know, hot a property caretaker showing us around the backyard on Hubbard Street, where he says over a dozen people have been living in these RVs. A judge now saying no one can stay. The Silmar homeowner and landlord Cruz Godoy telling us she's sad. Where are my people going to go? She asks. Earlier, she appeared at the Van Nuys court hearing. She is fighting two misdemeanor charges concerning the property. Records show not guilty, please. LA City Councilwoman Monica Rodriguez says it was a court ordered inspection Tuesday that revealed major hazards and a need to cut off power. Also saying this city was ready for the judge's order. We've actually, for the last week and a half, have been working to find uh, alternative housing opportunities for these individuals. Some neighbors have been fighting for action. They argue the RV park is illegal, unsanitary and unsafe. Very difficult to live in this situation. It's, it's unlivable. I mean, not even the electrical aspect, but the sewage aspect. It's been extremely frustrating for the neighbors. The neighbors have been dealing with this for at least four years. Some expressing relief outside of court. Too long coming, but it's finally here. It's, we're seeing the end of the tunnel. Others we spoke to who live or have lived in the RVs defend the homeowner. Helping people that have jobs that are not paying so well, and she's helping them to be a stepping stone or a, uh, a safe haven. And we have seen outreach workers from homeless services here trying to speak to the people living in the RVs. City officials say relocation services and emergency shelter will be offered. That's the latest here in Silmar. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you.